So what is going on Comfy Gang? It's your boy Comfy Neat. Um, so before I start this video, I just wanted to quickly um, preface it, preface it by saying that uh, don't be shocked by what I'm about to say because um, after this, you might think that I've decided to, uh, I guess, lay down and rot and just completely give up on life, but that's not really my intention, but rather that I do have those feelings sometimes that it would just be so comfy to give up on life and, you know, be a stereotypical Eldar Neat. And, um, you know, I do have those thoughts. I'm still gonna try, but you know, whatever the future holds, I guess that's what happens. But anyways, uh, I'm only mentioning this because in this video, I wanted to talk about my ideal Eldar setup, lay down and rot setup. And this is more like what I fantasize my lay down and rot life being like. And in this setup, which is like, I don't know, maybe like a starter pack, if you will, like a lay down and rot starter pack. Um, I'm just gonna basically go over the things that I want to have and I will be optimizing for maximum comfiness, obviously, because I am a comfy neat after all. So anyways, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing in my Eldar setup would definitely have to be a really high end PC specifically for gaming. So I would probably go, uh, I don't know, I'd probably go for the most expensive graphics card that I could afford. And, um, you know, obviously I don't know how all this would be funded. This is just fantasy. So anyways, yeah, I go for the most expensive graphics card, most expensive CPU. Um, what else? Uh, you know, at least 16 gigs of RAM, but I might as well go for 32 at this point. And I basically just, you know, browse for like uh, the mo the best parts. I don't really know much about building PCs, but I basically just look up the best parts and um, basically try and assemble it based off of that, the best cooling, the best, um, whatever will increase performance. Something that'll allow me to do both VR and 4K gaming if I ever want to, which I probably will because gaming is a really good cope for needs. So yeah, I'd have the best gaming PC. I'd have a really high definition monitor. And yeah, that would be definitely one of the main things, probably the cornerstone of my neat setup. I'd also have a really good uh, gaming headset, um, something that, um, you know, has really clear sound that's not too sizzly on the high end and something that's just really pleasant to listen to. That's also good for listening to music with. And um, yeah, because well, I really do enjoy, enjoy listening to music. So that's another thing would that would be important to me would be a really good pair of headphones. Maybe the, uh, the how do you pronounce it? The Sen Sennheiser, Sennheiser uh, HD 800s, I forget what the most expensive model by them is, but I, I definitely want that. It's some like really high end um, headphone amp or uh, I guess digital headphone amp slash uh, digital to analog converter, converter that um, would basically make all my music sound good. All the gaming, uh, you know, have crisp, uh, whatever sound effects let me hear footsteps when I'm playing like a FPS, for example. And um, yeah, that's that. So, oh, and as far as games go, um, I would also like, um, you know, I'd probably just buy everything from Steam sales and, you know, buy a lot of, buy a lot of F FPS games because that's what I mostly enjoy playing as well as a lot of RPG games, both JRPGs and um, um, I guess American RPGs and, uh, basically all kinds of games really, as long as it's uh, you know pretty fun and well-made. I'm pretty much down to play that. So yeah, I'd have a stockpile of games and if possible, I'd also really like one of the next gen consoles. So either a PS4 or an Xbox Series X, I 
think that's what it's called. I say PS4 or PS5. PS5, Xbox Series X, uh, maybe the, the KFC console too, and uh, have games for those as well, and a 4K TV. So obviously, as you can tell, um, things that I can consume um, media with would probably be the most important part of my setup. But definitely, if I had to choose between consoles and a computer, I'd definitely go with a computer because it's just way more versatile and I feel like it's just way better to play a lot of different games on the PC and you can always connect a controller to a PC but you can't really connect a mouse and keyboard or use a mouse and keyboard with a console typically. I don't know if that's changed with the next generation. So anyways, aside from that, I'd also want really comfortable clothes, uh, some really nice, uh, sweatpants and shorts and t-shirts pretty much what i wear all the time now but even nicer and comfier as well as some really nice soft uh i don't know hoodies i guess when it's cold in the in the winter because no jackets or anything because i'm not going to be leaving my house i'll probably be a shut-in i might probably be, be like a hickey as well a lot of the time when i'm not on discord so probably that as well and I, I definitely want to subscribe subscriptions for things like um, Discord Nitro um, <laughs> to send those uh, those stupid uh, emojis. I mean, based emojis. It's totally not a waste of money. Um, what else? Um, Spotify or Apple Music subscription. And um, I think that's pretty much all I need. As for movies. Um, I could just um, watch them for free, legally, of course. I'm obviously only talking about movies that are legally for free. <coughs> and um, what else would I like? I'd also like, um, what else would be good in a neat setup? I feel like I pretty much covered all the bases with just a computer alone. I don't know, maybe a nice set of speakers for when my ears are tired from listening with headphones. Oh, and a really nice, comfy gaming chair, a new mattress uh, for my back that may be one of those expensive Tempur-Pedic, is that still a thing? Tempur-Pedic or those, those foam mattresses that sort of mold to your back. And I'd also prefer a firm mattress because I feel like they last a lot longer without forming that little dent in the middle that just basically gives my back cancer. And I'd also want a um, really nice comforter or blankets uh, to keep me warm and cozy and comfy that I could also bring with me to my really nice adjustable gaming chair with all the cushions and adjustable uh, positions and settings, whatever gaming chairs do. Maybe that gaming chair might be one of those ones that include a massaging function as well. I feel like I've definitely seen those on Amazon and I definitely want one of those. And I'd also like a unlimited supply of instant noodles, obviously not unlimited, but I mean, it might as well be close to unlimited because instant noodles are honestly the cheapest thing. And I could basically eat those, you know, and switch it up by adding different proteins, eggs, uh, sliced pot pot sliced meat veggies mushrooms um basically anything that i could ever think of i'm i feel like i'm pretty good at customizing instant noodles so all i really need to survive though is just pure instant noodles because there's so many varieties so i could just basically live off of that and what else what other copes would i want i'd also want um i'd also want uh, weed and obviously I've mentioned before that I don't like weed because you know it does make my social anxiety worse but if I'm laying down and rotting my social anxiety doesn't really matter anymore because I basically won't be putting myself myself out there I'll just be in my room all day and I feel like the great thing about weed is that it makes it really uh, comfortable to just it, make, it basically makes you not give a crap about the world anymore. It makes you comfortable with just mediocrity and 
not doing anything because I remember when I was in university, I was a massive pothead and I pretty much didn't give a crap about class. I, I basically just play games all day, then go to my friends to smoke weed, munch out, fall pass out, rinse and repeat. And that is because weed basically makes it so that you really you really uh, just don't give a crap and that it makes it really amplifies that feeling of comfiness when you do certain things like playing video games and it just really makes you not care anymore and it makes food taste amazing and it basically makes dumb tv shows entertaining things that you normally find really boring interesting again at times depending on the show but i find that to be the case for a lot of different things uh it also makes uh it also makes uh cooming uh infinitely more enjoyable and i'm going to be doing a lot of that as a eldar meat oh yeah and since i'm talking about that i might as well get a a flashlight too <laughs> i'm actually a degen okay i guess there's worse things out there though but i mean this is this is all hypothetical of course this is not happening at all right now i actually do intend to ascend and i'll be making more videos about that but Aside from that, what else do I want? Um, I don't know, I guess maybe, you know, I guess maybe some weights would be nice because I feel like, you know, nothing crazy, but just a little bit of exercise definitely, I feel, makes me feel a little less depressed. And I'm not, I wouldn't be exercising to ascend or become, become some, you know, massive muscular dude. I'd just be doing it so that, you know, maybe my my body feels a little bit better. Maybe I feel psychologically a little bit better from the exercise. So I'd probably just be doing it purely for my mental well-being. And what else? What else? Um, I can't really think of anything else. I feel like I've pretty much covered the essentials. Um, I don't know, maybe heroin, some, some cocaine. I don't know. Crystal meth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, yeah, I pretty much can't think of anything that isn't drug. Obviously, I wouldn't do anything like that because I'm just too, I don't know, scared to try that stuff. Unless maybe I feel like roping and then I'd be like, you know, F it, why not? But this is all assuming that I become an Eldar Neat, which I really don't intend to. But I feel like if I became one, I'd be pretty good at laying down and rotting. I just feel like i have it i have i have way more within me and i feel like yeah, i'd just be kind of a waste if i did that so at least i want to basically live life without any regrets if i become an elder i need i just want to know that i at least tried my best or really tried my hardest before i actually commit to that sort of lifestyle so anyways yeah i feel like that's all i have to say in this video uh so Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this. And um, don't worry, I'm not going to, for the last time, I'm not going to lay down and rot anytime soon. So yeah, don't worry. This is Comfy Neat, signing out.
Fuck my life.